Your, your feet, feet stink. No, your feet stink. I could smell them. They stink. Man's feet supposed to stink. No, not like that. Well, That's, Vicky there's something said. wrong with you. Are you ready to get your kayak on tomorrow? Back. What you don't know about me is that I am the canoe queen. We're going out in kayaks. Okay, well, we're canoes. canoeing, 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 and yeah, I'm ready. We're going kayak fishing. We're down here with New Canoe in Charleston. As you can see, it's beautiful. I've never fished in a place like this before. I've never fished out of a canoe and I've never fished for redfish. So that's three things I've never done before and I'm gonna be doing this afternoon. Hopefully we can catch some. So we brought the super cool, nice, fancy, awesome paddle for? Not us. No, not you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that is Used so that. light. What's it like to always get the nicest stuff? I mean, I wouldn't know because it's always been that way. Cool, kayak fishing. I just caught my first speckled trout. It's a little baby and I've just been told that we have to use these prongs because he's got really sharp teeth up the top and down bottom, almost like a barramundi. Catch and release. My hooks are the dock. Yeah, look, I always wanted some uh, waterfront property. I guess I've got it now. Welcome everybody to Fishing with Mary, lisp style. I recently got a line as totally recommend for those that are looking to fix up a, a tooth that might have shifted. I got a hook right here and it about went through my butt. And it sounds like a country music song that we might have heard on the radio, Dylan Scott. Dylan Scott, you're my boy, I'm hooked. I'm hooked on Landon Baker's bar talks. So you know what they say, people? Even, uh, no, wait. Great day of fishing. A great day of fishing is still better than any normal day. Over and out for now, getting stuck in the weeds. <laughs> Guys, this is our intern backstrap. He's from Missouri and he's actually never seen the ocean before. And so today it's raining and we thought, what a perfect way to get him to see the ocean for the first time. We can't be fishing, so backstrap gets to see the ocean. This is Let's your first time with your feet in the sand. It feels so great. I'm so excited right now. Right, so the ocean is not here, but it is just beyond those trees. I can't wait. Let's do it. Doesn't he look like a changed man? I'm a brand new man. Like, this has opened the world to me. And ladies, like, just come on out to the beach with me. We're going to have a good time and enjoy this world. Oh. If you ain't ever been to the ocean, you need to go. David Hasselhoff over here. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't no like the Ozarks or Table Rock Lake. This is the ocean. On to the next one. very valuable lesson. Here you got your city water connector and here is the one for flushing the septic tank when you're emptying it. I thought this was for the water tank just to fill it up so we have water when we're on the road but I did not read this caution label so water was running into it and then Mary started screaming at me that there was poo coming out of the toilet and that it's real bad. I look at the toilet and it's like gurgling water and I was like weird so I went flush and it just started going and I was like what is he doing? Woo! That was almost tragic. I'm in trouble. You're just bloody lucky that I was in the toilet when I was in the toilet. Because we would have literally just walked in when there was poo all over the camper and all of our stuff would be ruined. I don't think she had to yell at me like that. You know, see her trying to do things, fill up water. She wants a shower, wonders where the water comes from. Yell at me. 
because I make a mistake and get poo everywhere. Could be worse. Sorry about the poo in your yard, Scott. That's my bad. September 1st, opening day of dove season. Stopped a gander, got a bunch of bullets. You can guess who bought the shells and you can guess who bought the 12 piece dish set and towel rack or a rug that says never camp alone with a dog on it. I didn't buy that. But I got shotgun shells, I got a dove stool and uh, everything you need to kill lots and lots of doves. Oh, I even bought a grill, dove poppers. Come on. It is the first dove hunt down here in Louisiana. There's been some kind of rough weather though lately. What do you reckon? Uh, I heard some shooting when we drove in. It's gonna be all right, I believe. Yeah, a whole bunch of fellas set up. It's kind of different hunting, isn't it? I feel like we're a little late because we heard shooting driving. Yeah. Out. This is what we do in Louisiana. I blame it on Mike in the background back there, though. I'm gonna blame it on I was sitting in the truck ready to go. <laughs> Waiting on the boys are, figure out what pants they're wearing. Oh, okay. Well, the boys are good to go. They've had a chicken biscuit. They've got their coffee, and hopefully we're going to get on some birds. And then later today, we've got the racetrack. So, perfect way to start day. the day. It's a good day. <laughs> well, we're dove hunting in my rooch. Ain't much here to do because the birds ain't flying. <laughs> Nothing dying. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> We just changed locations. Uh, we're dove hunting. Yeah, there's a few more birds over here, so we'll see if we can't hit any. I probably won't hit anything, but we'll see. Bonafide dove killer machine. We didn't kill a limit, but it was still pretty good. I mean, the hurricanes kind of messed a lot of people up, but we had a good time. Weather was perfect. We got enough doves to make like 10 poppers. <laughs> Together, we got a limit. And that's dream pretty work good. makes a dream work. That's it? It does. Uh, someone can eat tonight. Two people, maybe. Well, it's time to head on over to the racetrack for Dylan's race this afternoon. See you guys there. We are, uh, we're at the Rev. This is a, this is actually a concrete track that we put dirt on top of and we've been running races on it all year. So um, this is Redneck Central, it's I've a good time. I've been trying to think of how many tons of dirt you've had to dump on this thing. Over 6,000 tons of dirt. Wow. Over 300 big dump trucks full. That is I've insane. I've been inside of here and just backed up and dumped it and we took a bulldozer and spread it out and it's gonna be a lot of fun tonight. Well, I'm excited to see some cool cars and some characters. Oh, there's Let's some characters. Get it, guys. <laughs> I tell you, turn three right here is a little tricky. I learned that last night. And, uh, <laughs> turn one was pretty good. So they just need to watch out for that spot right there. Do you do it in the Maybe. dark? Maybe. The lesson to be learned is don't leave me alone unsupervised at a racetrack in the middle of the night. Because I'm going to go fast. I ain't never got to race on a racetrack before. No. Put it in the Turn one. Break. <laughs> yeah. Man, I have been in the racing since I was a kid. I've been, what you see at this dirt track racing, I've been going since I was like seven years old. Really? And one of my best friends, I sponsor his car, he drives out here. His dad and my dad were best friends and his dad used to drive. Aww. So my dad would go watch his dad drive. So now I'm here and Aww. got my buddy here. And That's so yeah. nice. I just, I don't know, I love it, I love it. We have just stumbled across a mythical creature here. The man, the myth, the legend. This is Dylan Scott's father. <laughs> so you guys got him into racing like pretty young, hey? Yeah, I've been in it since, since I was 1991 six. for oh. me. And he ran around with me everywhere. That's so cool. Dylan and Devin ran the racetrack together for the first time on their little bicycles. Oh! Turns out, I think we need to go to the racetrack more often. I have to admit, this is pretty fun. I think like, I don't know that I have the budget to get my own race car, but I could definitely get into at least coming to spectating. Yeah, I, and also like, there's no chance I'm gonna race. I can race if I want to race, I'm a grown man. Drink, what she doesn't know is I, I took the truck out on the track last night. 
I actually did know because I saw the spotlights coming. I went fast. Yeah, I actually did know about that. <laughs> the ram went sideways on turn three, so we got to calm them down. Got to calm down. Okay. But if they have like a dirt, like a little goat cart class, I think I could afford that. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to watch. I don't really know why it's called a, a hot lap. You said in your town y'all call it a happy lap? Yeah, so at home in Australia, when people graduate from school, they do all these laps up and down the town and like there might be one roundabout in the town, but everybody does like a happy lap like 20 times. We called it the loop. We had our loop and you make the loop and then make it again. I feel like you... happy lap sounds better. <laughs> This is uh, it's a great night of racing. Uh, this facility is awesome. The drivers love it. I love it. The fans love it. Are you having a good time? That's I'm the having question. a blast. This has been so much fun. The dove hunting was average because of the hurricane. Yeah. Not your fault. Here's your action though, right here. That, exactly. Here's this is topped off like a great trip to Louisiana. And your dad has said that after this, you actually have to take us red fishing next time we come down. Boat fishing yeah. for red fish. Yeah. We can do that. Yeah. Well, thanks for having us. You got it. We're not that good at dove hunting, but I'm real good at watching cars go in circles. And spitting on me. This is racing. If you're not spitting, you ain't racing. That's not a saying. It that. is a saying. No. Are you gonna look at the camera? Why? I'm talking to you. Yeah, but like we're saying goodbye to people. Yeah, you're not doing a very good job of hosting right now. <laughs> Hold on. That's better. Thank you, Dylan, for having us. We've had a blast down here in Monroe. We like to go far.